Welcome to Animator Reviews. I'm Ran, and this is The Groom, and we just watched the reboot, um, reimagine, re re who knows, of Child's Play. And uh, we watched it on Hulu, so we thought we'd put this review out because they just released it on Hulu. Just got the Hulu. Yes, and we just got Hulu, so that's also exciting. There's not a really good selection of horror movies on there. However, they have a lot of seasons of RuPaul's Drag Race, so I'm set. And you're set, because I make you watch it. Yep. You love it. I actually do like it. We loved Alaska and Detox. <laughs> Hi. Hi. So, this film starts out with uh, Andy, our little friend, and his mom, Karen, who just move into a new apartment building. We don't really know the backstory. We also don't really care to know the backstory. And he's not super stoked to be there, and she's kind of, you know... She's really trying. She's a young single mom. She's working a crappy retail job. At Zedmart. At Zedmart. And ends up kind of blackmailing one of the managers there into giving her a buddy doll, which was brought back and refurbished. So essentially the, bubby, bu the buddy doll is like AI technology and it essentially controls things around your house like smart appliances and... Um, we can't say its name because it'll wake up. It's right there. But, you know, it starts with an A. And yeah. uh, it, it's supposed to streamline everything, make things a lot easier to deal with, you know, the routines. It'll set things up. And the Buddy doll in itself is supposed to help younger children, you know, maybe Have cope friends. with things better and entertain them. It's essentially like a little nanny. But... Mm -hmm. We learned that there was something very different about this particular buddy doll, as they show in the factory. The guy is literally told, hey, you, you, like, you're done, we're going to toss you back out on the street, you're out. And he takes off every single failsafe in oh. the program possible. All the like, safety protocols. The, no violence, no no cussing, pretty much like you're, you're just... It makes the doll awesome. So... Of course he gets that doll and notices, you know, he's, he, I forget what he said, something dick and the doll repeated it back and he's like, oh, are you allowed to say that? And he takes things far too literally. Like maybe you're in a bad mood and you say, I wish this would happen or I never want to see this person again. Like very literal, extremely literal. And, uh, we get to know... Detective Mike, whose mother lives in the apartment building as well, and Pug and what's her name? Fallon, I mm -hmm. think. Pug and Fallon. Her, Pug and his, Fallon his are friends. these two kids that also live in the apartment building. So, like, what could go wrong? What could possibly go wrong? Everything goes wrong. And it, yeah, I was about to say, and everything. And it does. Literally and, every single worry about advanced technology you have occurs in this movie. And I feel like one of the kids, I think it was Pug referenced it pretty early on into the movie, was like... It was Fallon. She goes, was it this Fallon? Is, yeah, she goes, this is how every robotic apocalypse movie starts. And I was like, yes! She's not wrong. Yes! She's, she's not so wrong. right. So, um, also, playing the uh, voice of Chucky, like, hey kids, it's Mark Hamill. Oh. Super stoked to, like, hear his voice. I love, love him, him so much. They kind of threw a Star Wars reference in there when, you know, the doll wakes up and he's like, oh, what's your name? Well, what's my name? And he goes, Han Solo. And he goes, no, I'm Chucky. And it's like, we see what she did there. <laughs> so, um, essentially, mayhem robots. <sighs> yep. Yep. What did you like about this movie? Um, two things. One, I'd love the similarities between the Kaslin Corporation, which is the major conglomerate that makes the Chucky doll, and Amazon. Right down to, they found the actor that looks just like the guy who runs Amazon. I see what you're doing, and I love it. Uh, but mainly, uh, the gore. The gore was great for the me. The gore was surprisingly I good. I did not think we were going to get what we got. The mm -hmm. watermelon patch scene was amazing. Yeah. Like, the whole where warehouse scenes were amazing. It was... This was really... I really liked it. 
Like, I really liked, like, what they did with the Gordons. It was inventive. Yeah. And it was environmental. By environmental, I mean it used things around it in the immediate area to assist with the kills. And that's what I love. I love that. There were some things we picked apart with the gore that was like, why, why is that still attached? That's mm. not part of skin. But not not to give anything away, but like... Yeah, it's... it's we're going to pick that apart. <laughs> it, it, it was done for aesthetics. Yeah, oh, de- definitely. I felt like I also really, really enjoyed the gore. I was surprised that for the great majority, they didn't do the cutaway thing and then come back to the aftermath. That's like, what I they thought. went, like, full force into it, which I was really surprised about. They show it all. Even though some of it was a bit far-fetched. Well, uh, but again, like, you're doing it for the the atmosphere and to keep mm. the story going. I guess um, another thing I liked, th- there was a lot of humor in this, which was nice. And it wasn't, you know, always lighthearted humor. A lot of it was dark humor, dark which humor. That, that always gets us. That, that That's our MO there. Mm-hmm. So that was cool. Sarcasm and dark humor will always be funny to us. And like, they can teach Chucky to say certain phrases and he won't get it initially. Mm-hmm. And then it's like part of a, you know, a scene where you're just like gripping your chair, just like, oh gosh, what's going to happen? And he just says random the, the, the phrase. The thing they like, were trying to the just, <laughs> That was so good. I loved how they. He's like, they this did is that. for Tupac. And yeah, like, what? that was so good. <laughs> Why now? But yeah, this is for Tupac. Yeah, that was. It was uh, great. So, what didn't you like about the movie? Obviously, um, I, f- I felt like you could feel me check right out of this movie with first the implied animal violence and then the very direct animal violence. Particularly, it being a cat named Mickey Rooney. Like, stop messing with cats. Like, come on. Like, that's so effed up. I love animals so much. And being a horror fan, like, I don't want to see true horror. Like, animal cruelty happens all the time. Like, come on. Just, it was unnecessary. I want fabricated horror. Yeah, like, it, to, to me, that was completely unnecessary. I don't think it did anything for the story. It didn't progress the story. You could have done it in a completely different, different way where you didn't have to do the... You, did, you didn't have to do that. That no. was just, it was something that was just like, it's, it's a easy way to get you to hate the antagonist. It's cheap and it's, you know, it's, I don't like it. I think it's just a cheap way. You want to build up the sense of dismay for the antagonist in a story, not just give me cheap animal violence. That's going to make me hate you more than I hate the freaking character in the, in the, in the movie. Mm-hmm. But so for me, yeah, I hated that too. That that was my big pet peeve. Um, the I have a like dis dislike. This is a weird thing. I hate and I love one thing about this movie. I hate and love the fact that it is nothing like the original. Yeah. Other than the doll, that's the only thing that's you could have made this a completely different movie. Mm-hmm. Not use the Chucky. And, like, they're not even called good guy dolls. They're called buddies. Like This B- could have been B- a completely U-D-D-I. different... You could yeah. have... There's a scene where there's different types of buddies, like the buddy, like, two. The you, bear one the bear. was you so could, cute. You could have just done the bear from the beginning and had this be a completely different, like, kind of mo- movie. And I would have still, still liked it, you know? But I love the original Child's Play. You know, that's why I grew up with a healthy fear of dolls. Mm-hmm. Because... I watched one come to life and try to kill people when I was a kid. I feel as though <laughs> almost they used Child's Play and Chucky to and Andy to sell the movie. Yeah. You didn't need to do that. And I feel like that's why a lot of people just don't like this movie. Like, I don't really like this movie for other reasons. I have a feeling, and I cannot confirm this, I don't I don't know if this is true, but I, I, I would bet you that this movie was brought to somebody without Chucky or or Andy in, in it just as a separate robots take over blah 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 murder robot everything like that i think that was brought separate and somebody was like 
that's not going to sell unless we make it like a child's play reboot. I think somebody altered an original movie to include all of that stuff. And I'm talking with my hands a lot. Cause I'm yeah, just, you're distracting. I'm excited. <laughs> I'm excited. I feel like this is, for some reason, this is the future of reboots pertaining to, like, quote-unquote inanimate objects, like the Banana Splits reboot. That's also kind of like an AI thing from what I've heard. I have not seen it, but I have watched a few reviews and it was just like, it's not necessary. And again, that seems like it kind of just used the name and the characters mm -hmm. like to get people's attention, which that's fine. Like you could have called this doll whatever and called the movie whatever and been like, oh, Aubrey Plaza's in it. I'd be like, I'm going to give it a shot. My thing is, is that the reason why they're doing this is for younger audiences. Younger audiences aren't going to like look at a movie and be like, you know, like the original Child's Play is like, why does he just use his phone and do this? And you have to include modern technol technology into the more modern movies to make them, to give them more of the real aesthetic. What would your phone have done against the original Chucky? You could throw your phone at him. Uh, damn right. Mm -hmm. The Nokia brick, you no, no, no. You done remember the part in one or two where he tries to call the police and Chucky's cut the phone cord? Kids aren't going to understand. But I was like, what? Who cares if the cord gets cut? <laughs> Just use your cell phone. Yeah, like it's eighty-seven people. There are no cell phones. Or they're like Even cordless this phones. big, and they give you head cancer. <laughs> the Hold Zach on. Morris. <laughs> <laughs> the Zach Morris phone. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Hello. Go, go get your car phone. <laughs> I remember the great the great thing was they actually one of the iPhones they made they made a case where it was the Zach Moore's phone and your iPhone sat in it. That was hilarious. Terrible. But yeah, so I mean modern technology is always is now gonna be in these modern movies. This is the way it is and we just need to deal with it. On to the ratings. Uh I have another dislike. Oh okay. the pacing. The pacing was a bit yeah. off for me. I felt like they could have gotten to the goods way quicker than they did. They drug out that beginning a lot. They drug out the beginning and I feel like the middle a whole lot and then the end was just like pew pew pew. Like And the end is the best part. The end was really good. I enjoyed that. Um I just I, I can't picture Aubrey Plaza as a mom after watching her in Parks Parking and Rec. Rec. <laughs> just I I love April though. Oh side question for you. This movie had child actors. What were your thoughts on the child actors? I didn't think they were that bad. I just say, I didn't hate them like I do most child actors. Yeah, I, I didn't thought, love them like I love the kids no, in No, no. I mean... It's high standards. I felt like they... They would have had... They, they have potential to be really great. And they didn't bother me that much. I, th I think they play the roles very, very well. Yeah. Andy got annoying at some point in times. Fallon was awesome. She was the best child. She was yeah. the best char yeah. character. She her was and the her and Zed Zed Martin was amazing. Mm -hmm. um, I got a very like Bruce Campbell Ash kind of aesthetic from her. Mm -hmm. uh, so, what would you rate this movie? I like a two out of five. And I'm going to throw a new fold into this to go along with the rating. Would you recommend this movie to people? Um, people that like horror movies or people that like movies in general? We'll do both. People that like horror movies, um, I suppose it would depend on... Their taste. How much they like the original Child's Play series. Mm hmm I will say, like, I don't have the best taste when it comes to Child's Play because, like, my favorite movies of the series are Bride of Chucky... And oh, so Seed hard. of Chucky. Oh, also awesome. <laughs> like, I, I'm, I'm a big fan of those. And those are by no means, like, serious, scary. You know, it's a lot of really terrible jokes and punchlines. You know, and you almost knocked the, new the new computer over. And here's the new cat. And uh, I, I feel like, I don't know. I don't think that someone that's not into horror would enjoy this because of the gore in it. Mm -hmm. And I don't think Goodbye. that the storyline is that strong without all the gore. Yeah. Um, I would give it a three a three out of five. And I would definitely, for light horror fans, I think this would be a good movie for them. 
Maybe you know, just like a, a night in popcorn movie. Yeah. You know, especially because it's free. I wouldn't tell anybody to go pay for this movie, but because it, well, technically it's not free, but because it's on a Hulu streaming plat- platform, I would say if you have Hulu already, definitely watch this movie. It's worth a watch. If you have Hulu already, yeah. you should probably watch Little Monsters, if that's still on there. <laughs> that was such a great movie. That was amazing. So, yeah. Um, yeah, three out of five. I would recommend this movie to pe- pe- people. I had a fun time. It was okay. The pacing was a little eh, but it ended strong. All right. Have you seen this movie? What are your thoughts on the movie? Do you have cats at home? What are their names? Can you please send me some pictures? You could tweet them at me, at RayAnimator. You can also follow my Instagram, at RayAnimator. You can follow me on Facebook, at Reanimator Reviews. Please don't forget to like, leave comments, subscribe if you haven't yet already. I'd love to have you. Hit the bell for all notifications of further uploads and live streams. You can also find my solo, as well as reviews with the groom, in podcast form on iTunes. Thank you to the Farsighted Network. Please don't forget to follow all of their awesome creators for their content as well. They probably have cats too. You can find me on Twitter under Repeat Groom, Wet, Groom Ray. Ooh. You can also find me on Twitch under Repeat Ray Animator. We're on the path to affiliate. I'm so close to making money. It's so close. But um, yeah, so you can find me on both of those platforms. Follow me, like, leave a comment. You know, I love talking to people, especially people from the channel. Zach. While I'm uh, playing games, it's so much fun to in- interact with you guys. I have a great time, so please come and watch. Um, so yeah, Killer Doll, blah, 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 you know. Wanna play? Check, 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 loud air conditioner. I'll be your friend to the end. Mm. You have to be, we're married. <laughs> <laughs> You're legally bound. <laughs> <laughs>